Good morning, Raleigh Racquet Club members. Today, what we're gonna do is spend a little time to learn how to properly utilize the ball machine. One of the first things you wanna do when you come up to the ball machine is make sure the power's on. As you can see right now, it's on, but if you don't hear the machine, it's because the power's not on here. Then you head over to the ball machine, and as you can see now, the cover is off the ball machine, but we kindly ask that when you finish up after using the ball machine that you put the cover on it. You want to make sure that uh, the power button is on. So we're gonna turn that on right now. That's what actually gets the device working. And then you're gonna head on over to the control box. This is what controls where the ball is gonna go. It controls whether or not you're using the uh, remote or not helps to set up different patterns and where you'd actually like the ball to, to go to. So if you're working on forehands or backhands or whatever it is. So let's go ahead and open up the control panel. And uh, as you look across the top, the first thing you see is these numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, they represent a certain area on the court. And what you then do is figure out where do you want the balls to go? So you notice right now it says two, six, A. So here's what that means. The first ball is gonna to go to number two. The second ball is gonna to go to number six. What the A does is stop that sequence. Let's say that A was a four, and then you see there's a five, a two, and a two. It would repeatedly shoot to all those. But if I wanted to work on just, let's say, two shots, or even just one shot, if I wanted to go one spot, let's say just a uh, forehand for a right-hander, that's number two, the sequence should say two and then A, and that's the only ball that will get fed. Now, you wanna come down here and understand these various uh, buttons here. So we'll start in the upper left-hand corner. You see where it says height? That's how high the ball goes coming out of the ball machine. And so if you want the ball to come out high, number one, make sure that you adjust the speed because you have a whole lot of speed down here. The speed button tells you the speed the ball comes out of the machine. How fast is it going to come? If you wanted a higher ball, you definitely want lower speed because otherwise it would go right over the fence. But what I would recommend for folks is keep the height around three or four, keep the speed around three, four or five, and then notice this is spin. What I recommend for folks on spin, uh, unless you really, if you want to really work on top spin, you want to twist it over or the person hitting top spin to you, twist it over towards three, four, five. I recommend folks keeping it on zero. It's a nice neutral ball that you can work on things. Uh, next, you're going to see the feed rate. What this is, is this tells you how fast the ball, the feeds are coming out, the time in between each feeds. If you're working on technique or you're wanting to work on a particular stroke, I recommend the feed rate be slower because now you've got more time in between shots. If you're looking to get some cardiovascular work, you're looking to move around the court, you'll set up your sequence up here to move the ball around to a bunch of different places and then you pick up the feed rate because that means it's gonna come out a lot faster. So you're gonna be running a lot harder. When you come to this button right here, it says uh, remote and bypass. When you use the remote, uh, you keep it on remote. If you didn't have the remote, you put it on bypass and that way it'll go ahead and just uh, push the balls out of the machine, shoot the balls towards you in the sequence that you have here. And then when it says random direction, right now it says on, I recommend that's on off. Uh, because that is, uh, it will take whatever your sequence of shots is up above, the, the different places you wanted the ball to go, and it will randomly put them in different spots. So you wanna know what you're doing and where you're going. Utilize these buttons right here. And uh, thanks so much for being a member of the Raleigh Racquet Club. Again, make sure that when you leave the ball machine that you put the cover on, you shut the door, and you go have a great day.